What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with George Truly, this guy render, and today you got yourself a match against Xenon. Yeah, we actually had a battle yesterday, and then you game, and uh, I basically decided to when he asked me that. All right, if we're gonna battle, then I'm gonna bring weird stuff as always because I do want to showcase my weird sets, and this is definitely like a key opportunity to do just that. Because he obviously reaches out to more players, and he actually helped me out with recordings here. Because, as you guys know, my capture card are at the repairs, and we'll be back in roughly a month at worst. Uh, hopefully, not that long. Hopefully. So, anyway, looking at my opponent's team, we got Furret, we got Animas Pain, we got Camera Luxray, my Malamar, and Weezing. And, uh, yeah, I have no idea what we'll start off with. I was thinking that. Mesprit, or Pain, as we would call it, is probably as easy as lead, you know, set up stealth rocks and whatnot. So I actually decided to bring my Aurora's Wrath to bat here, and I got Duition, Machoke, Detonated, Physical Choice Banded one that we call Actros, and a Toxic Orb Gut Set with Flareon, and a Physical Choice Banded Excelgo with Water Shuriken. Because it learns it, so I kind of want to utilize that, so I decided to actually make a set like that, and yeah. Uh, and that's why we have an Excel goal. I say we're kind of fine. It's it's not the best set, but then again, it's kind of you don't see it coming. So <laughs> I guess it's fun because of that. So anyway, biggest threats on my opponent's team will probably be the ferret. I'm not gonna go into much detail why, but you will definitely find out why. And uh, my win condition here is actually to get up a trick room and with my duition and then let any Pokemon that is slow, that is both Aurora's and Macho, coming in and sweep. Uh, so that is basically what I need to do to win this batch. So with all this in my guys, let's go. So you see my previous battle against Xenon, you know that I just tried to overpower him as fast as I can from the get-go. So I actually started with the Weezing, and I was a bit unsure here on whether or not I should have stayed in, but at the same time, Aurora's is quite special defensive, so I have really nothing to fear from this guy, so I decided to just go for a Hyper Voice, just getting the damage done to be honest. He does does his voice out suited it. The pain, the um, mesprit that is uh, fairly bulky here, and he will set up a light screen. I am just gonna go for discharges and fishing for what I just can say is the paralysis because really, mesprit is not a threat to my team, but at the same time, I know exactly how this thing can kind of you know just keep being alive. So, if I decide to actually keep this thing a bit of nerf, I can work around it and. Um, that is basically what I'm going to do. At this time, I'm just going to go back to the Hyper Voice and do the damage again. He will switch out to the Sarah Tool. You know exactly who this guy is. And uh, he actually uses Leftovers instead. So this Hyper Voice actually do, I'll say, fair damage. Because consider it's highly special defensive. So, basically, I know he's going to go for Superpower. You know, free Superpower is just, it's Jailbait for um, Malamar, basically. So, Axelgor definitely can take this thing on rather well, it's not defensive by any means, but since Setatool is not any offensively built, it can't really break through, and I know that. So, yeah, it's not looking too well for Xeno at this point, and I just gonna go for U-turn, I did not think he would stay in, but he's just gonna sack this Malamar, and uh, yeah, I'm fine with this. I really am. Like I said, I'm choice banded. That crit actually did not matter because that is just how brittle Malamar is to a four times effective move. So I go into my Ray Store, which is my Flareon, and he will go to the Sanic or the Monster. This is for it, and um, he's gonna press my eyes in for the Toxic Orb. I saw it, like I said, like a free turn of getting off. I can't really stress this enough, my Toxic Orb, and this thing pack freaking Aqua Tail. I was hoping for Retaliate or Double Edge, but no, Aqua Tail. Fuck. And really, I can't really stress this enough. The main issue here is that I am defensively built, and I know that is bad at damage. I just, oh, that just hurts so much. So, anyway, he will switch out here. I went for knockoff, and I will do a bit of misplay here because it just went through my mind that when knocking off, that he was gonna go for a Will O Wisp. He's having a Salt Vest. I might as well go on for attack, but no, I did misplay here and uh, switch out. And I like, while we're battling, I was like just face palming because I know he's gonna attack me. And even though I'm special defensive Flareon, it still does a lot of damage. And, you know. 
I'm just gonna go for the Flare Blitz, I need his wheezing out of the way, it's just so freaking annoying, but he will actually switch out to the Pain, and Pain it is, true, true Pain, this Flareon is just going to eradicate this mess spread from the Earth, never has a stronger Flare Blitz been ever recorded, and this mess spread is going down. And, you know, I take some recall damage too, I mean, I'm obviously a victim here too, so... <laughs> anyway, I see that Flareon is still disabled to outspeed both Weezing and Camarot, so there is no reason for me to really sack it. So I decided to bring my physical wall, uh, my Machoke, to, you know, try to soak the fur its uh, Aqua Tail was I hoping for, or a double edge, either way. This thing hurts so much! I mean, it... Oh, it's a 2 hit KO! I might as well sack my dead knife for that damage. Wow, that hurt! It is not even funny! This fur just eradicated what might have been my win condition to actually <laughs> take him out. And now I have nothing for this thing! Um, Accelerator's gonna come in just to do some ship damage, but I mean, wow. I did not see this one coming, obviously. And uh, I went for a water shuriken, and you know why? Because I can, because Warshur can just is so cool, and look at Axelgor, he is just like bending backwards and then forward, just throwing out way better than Greninja is doing. But obviously, only two hits there, and uh, it is against a Weezing, which is special, or is defensive. Uh, there is no action there, obviously. And this Sludge Bomb did way more than it should, and it was because it was a crit, but still, that is just... Uh, so anyway, I do decide to switch out because I needed some damage going, or some, rather some damage recovery going. So he will switch to his Luxray or Viria, while I go to Actros, my Dedene, and I knew exactly what he was gonna do here. He was gonna go for the cam the Camarot, but then again, I was just like, what the hell? I had the Dedene out, I might as well go for Player Off. I mean, I don't often get to do this, and I say I do a good chunk here. That is easily one-fifth. And I missed the other one, and you know, my life is just that boring sometimes. You know, you have the 9 to 5 accuracy only to miss. That is the purpose of, you know, having like... Oh, I can't feel stressed enough. It, it obviously won't matter. But here is what I do, something I kind of regret, and really, really putting the nasty nail in a coffin for me. That is, that I did not go for the water share again, because I was thinking that he was gonna switch out. But no, he stays in, and I'm gonna go to my Seth, my duition. And basically, I was thinking I can at least wall him out, but with sheer force and everything in bond, there is no way that I can take this. And obviously, he's getting his slow speed next turn, which means that he is faster than me this turn. And this fire blast will be more than enough to eradicate this tuition. I'm sorry. Damn, you poor little fetus. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to restore here. Only to do one thing and one thing only. Going to pull out the facade and take out this camera. And that was like, what? <laughs> you go going down, bitch. <laughs> so I really like using Flareon. I mean, it's obviously very, very lacking. But man, it sure pack a punch. It really does. And I have Flame Charge this to actually get some speed up before Toxic Orb. But uh, obviously, this was not his battle. And the Double Edge will eradicate the Flareon. So, now is the real face of Axelgor against this monster of a poke. And, um, yeah. It is not gonna be enough. I go for the knockoff, trying to, you know, take down as much damage as possible, but... No. This double edge will be more than enough to, of course, eradicate this Axelgor from the earth. And, um, Sino will take a very comfortable 3-0 win against me. And I say it would have been closer if I didn't do uh, a U-turn against the camera, but I'm pretty sure, or rather I know exactly that I would not have been able to win. And hey, I take down them, or he takes down his own first, so it's a 2-0, fair enough. But um, yeah, since Luxor was in good health, there was no way for me really playing around it, and I couldn't really take on the Weezing head-on. I know that thing packs flame for Renaway, so there was... He still got the win, no matter how we pull it off, and uh, he was definitely deserving this win. I tried my very best, but it clearly wasn't enough this time. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle, I sure did. I really, I like using what I must call our um, sub pokes, that is, you know, they're clearly limited and have 
no real purpose in the game and um, trying to uh, outwit my opponent and I say I did that from the get-go but then again Sinon is one of those players that I know are strong late game players and it really comes to show here that I was just I did not have the power to withstand his uh, pressure later on so I brought the pressure but I couldn't take the pressure and you know that <laughs> that's really fine like I said I, was, I really thought it was a good game and had a lot of fun battling him and hell he helped me with um, recording this, which means that I have actually some quality content for you guys yet again. So I'm extremely thankful for that. And um, like I said, guys, the, my capture card is on the or are repaired. So in the meanwhile, it will be subpar battles. But as long as I have these kind of battles and can be and can get help, then that is just great because that means that you guys won't be suffering as much, <laughs> or rather, I, I can bring you to the quality content and. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I really hope, like I said, you guys enjoyed this battle. And if you do, make sure to leave a like, of course. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe because it's a very, very nice place to be. And you know this, right? So, with all this, my guys, remember, the sky is the limit. So, have a good guys and take care, right? Bye.